<laughs> Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm down at Dub Customs and I'm going to be installing an ITG air filter for my BMW M140. Um, as you might know if you follow the channel, um, the exterior jobs that I've done on the car are all on the channel and they've all been done and documented. And the next step on the exterior is probably going to be the diffuser that I'm going to be getting soon, the Raga diffuser. So that video is definitely coming soon. But today, we're going to go for the air filter. Reasons why I've gone for a panel instead of the open cone, I'm going to go through all of that. But yeah, let's have, have a quick look around and I can hear a noise outside and I believe that's my car being washed. So again, we are going to get the car washed by F1 Max at some point. But now we've got Sam down here at Dub, just giving it a quick wash over because it's always looking filthy for the video. So I thought, you know what? I work some man Sam and he's managed to do me a favour. He's going to clean it all up for me. But yeah, let's go outside and have a chat. But before we go outside, we definitely, definitely need to like pay homage to this piece. This is the TVR that Dub have got here. It's in, I don't know what the colour is. I call it a candy red, but it is oh mate you've got to see it to believe it. it is also for sale so if you are interested or you're interested in a car like this definitely get get in contact but it looks beautiful this red i'm not gonna lie i've never seen a red like i can move across it like that and you can literally see it it's, i don't know how to describe it but it is absolutely beautiful we've got a project here which is going to be coming soon you can see we've got the nice dub Aston Martin. Like I said, we need to get the views up. If we get the views and the likes up, I'm definitely gonna be taking it out for a review. Okay, we are out here. As I said earlier, we've got the main man, Sam, giving the beast a little clean. And as you can see, it actually looks black for once. So those of you that don't know, this is the M140i that I'm currently owning. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing big power on this. Gonna fully go to town on it. Um, yeah, like so far, let's have a quick look around the car. Rear lights, tinted. M140 badge, I don't know how well you can see it, but that's in black, auto ID. Rear badge is done by the boys down here at Dub. Carbon fibre spoiler, fitted down here at Dub as well. Caps are all done as well. Don't know how well you can see that, but they are done in black. Um, auto ID side mirrors, you can see they're the M3, M4 style from auto ID, and it's the full thing, so it's not the clip-ons, it's the entire unit. Um, at the front, you can see on for the eyelids to get rid of that little plastic bit on the front of the headlight down the bottom we've kept this ferret gray color because i like it i think it breaks up the black nicely and as you can see we've got the full maxton kit in terms of splitter and side skirts but we've also done a little ferret gray stripe to to match the exterior of the car but yeah it's just sam's just cleaning it up for me but yeah a bit of b-roll let's go In this box, as you can see, it is an ITG performance air filter. So the reason why I've decided to go for a flat panel filter instead of the cone filter that gives you all those lovely noises is that the air box itself has been engineered so well, literally tuners use it like pure turbos. Even he said it, I think his name's Peter. He said that there's no point running a cone filter because it's for the sound you're missing on a couple of horsepower and the way it's engineered it's just better off just to use a panel filter. So I took his word for it and uh, Tom Wrigley, Tom Wrigley Performance got a lovely M240i. His car is using one of these as well. So I'm not going to knock any other companies but ITG um, made in England. So again, it's all about trying to keep it all UK if you can just to support the UK company. So ITG is who I've decided to go with. That's how it comes. It's the right shape. This is the WB576. So big, big shout out to uh, Williams Performance. Mark himself, he's the guy that's running it. UK company as well. So ordering your parts, next day delivery, all of that good stuff. Is, it's the one, 100%. What else do we have in the box as well? Okay. Oh, lovely. Got a lovely auto finesse, finesse, however you want to call it. Nice little air freshener. Make the car smell good. We've got some stickers from William Performance. And they definitely will be going on the car. Not because my surname is Williams as well and it's going to like confuse people. But just because I want to kind of like get her looking race car. <laughs> so 
so not like fully full livery but definitely going to get some stickers on instagram it's all going to be going on today but yeah let's go over to the car and have a little look it's how it works air filter cleans the air that comes in through here somewhere so in there through the bottom straight in there down into the turbo charges it up sends it up over here there's no intercooler on this car so then it goes into here which is the charge cooler it cools down that air with some water and then it sends it into the engine and then obviously it recirculates it out into the downpipe out into the exhaust but yeah so I'm doing the dyno next, so that'll be happening in the next video. Hopefully it was meant to be this video, but circumstances have changed, so I just decided I'll do this one instead. But I'm going to keep this filter. We're also going to have a look at it and see how dirtier it is, because it's technically it's only done 5,000 miles since its last change. So we'll see whether they lied to me, whether they didn't really change it, but they said they serviced it before they gave it to me. But yeah, quick sound test, and we'll obviously do another sound test once we put the foam one in. But yeah, sound test. As I said, it's not really for sound, it's just literally just, it's probably just because it makes sense, like to get better flow, you're going to use the foam. So I'm obviously, oh sorry, before I forget, I'm taking clips off here. But yeah, another clip here. I don't know if my thumbs have got that strength. There we go, that's two. And then there's one at the back here as well. These silver tabs, shake it off. One, two, and then that should be enough for me to give it a wiggle and remove it. It's very hot in here, very, very hot. But yeah, that is about it. And I think using this space here, I'll be able to lift it up and remove it out. There we go. That's our filter. That is our filter. It is probably, I don't really know. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna get shot down in the comments as people like to do, keyboard warriors, etc. But um, in my opinion, this looks quite clean. There's not much gathered. But yeah, paper filters, they are okay, they're cheap, they're just easy to kind of use and dispose. But the foam one is wash it, reuse it. There's a little sticker that comes with it as well for me to stick on top to tell BMW or whoever decide to get a service by not to throw it away, that it is going to be a reused one. But yeah, I'm also going to look into this area here and make sure that there's no debris left. I might have to hoover it out if there is. But yeah, it looks clean. There is a bit of foam in there that I'm tempted to remove, but apparently it's good to keep it in there because it soaks up any water ingress that might end up in there. But yeah, we'll put that to one side and then we'll get our foam one and stick it straight in. All right, so before I forget, in terms of design, the mesh, it helps it because I'm not going to name any other companies, but I have seen some foam filters that tend to create some sort of like hill. I don't know what the right term is, but the air obviously comes through the bottom, flows through, then goes into the, the turbo. But there's a little hill but with this mesh I believe it's going to help it stay flush which is a good thing and that way it kind of gives it that better longevity and in terms of the oil as well it's not heavily oiled but where it's a foam filter it's going to be reused so it just gets a good wash there's always videos on ITG's uh, YouTube channel on how to clean it but yeah literally it just goes straight in so lift it up slide it in and the main thing is is that the foam bit sits inside and it's all the way in I've got Sean staring at me I know he's gonna try and put me off it's not going to happen, my friend, not going to happen. So yeah, once that's all lined, lined up, remember you haven't got to put the rubber in, you just got to make sure the foam bit is in. So yeah, always check that all the way around because you don't want any seepage of air. So it's very, very important to make sure it's all seated in nicely. That means by just taking your time, checking that nothing's dropped in, make sure your wedding ring hasn't dropped in, make sure your, your license hasn't dropped in, but for me, that looks all flush and the easiest way to remember is when you take out your original one always have a look at how it looked when you took it out so that way you know how it needs to be seated and also when you go putting it back you'll know that there's too much resistance then you know you haven't done it right but that's all done that's in nice and flush next thing you want to do is that you get your clips and pop them back in that's one that's two third one three and when you get that audible click can you see the fingers the audible click you know it's good. The next thing we're going to do is going to give this area a nice little wipe and stick our sticker down. So then when BMW are about to touch it, they know this card is a serious business. You cannot change my filter because it's a serious business. So yeah, clean up the area and then we're going to wrap this on. And also, as promised, I'll give you the sound test to compare it from paper filter to the foam filter. Most people would have thought I would have gone for the foam, the cone sort of thing because of the sound. But 
for me it's all about performance and heat soak's not something I'm looking for. I know when you're driving it's going to be pushing air in anyway, but in terms of the air box and how it forces air in, you can't get anything better than a closed air box in terms of air. So that's coming from me, who's like the best person and the most knowledgeable person about cars. So yeah, if it's come from me, it's the gospel. Do you smell shit? I smell shit! So yes guys, the filter is installed. Again, big shout out to Williams Performance. If you are interested in any of their products, again, Instagram, website, will all be in the description. But yes guys, loads more to come on the car. Like I said, the next mod I believe we're gonna be doing is the Rigo Diffuser, but we'll be definitely taking it to a dyno to see the stock power. I am keeping the stock filter as well. We'll pop that in and I might be able to do a comparison to see which one makes more brake horsepower. But again, this isn't more of a power mod, it's just, it is, okay, it is a kind of a power mod, but I personally believe that this mod is just purely down to getting more wear into the car and just a peace of mind knowing that I've got a filter that just can be washed and reused. But yes, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.